I read that question differently on your thing and I heard what advice would you give to other women about a career and a family and I actually asked somebody very inspirational that question when I was pregnant with my second I think and she was a chief operating officer at Barclays Group, uh, Colette Delaney Smith I think was her name and she was also pregnant with her fourth and obviously in a very senior position in a very large organisation. And her advice, never come back to the same job after maternity leave. Because she said, it's never the same. And you've always had somebody that's been doing your job. And they're going to be, you know, feel a little ruffled to be moved down. And you're going to feel a little ruffled if it's not the same. And, you know, there's, it's just static. So um, I've taken that to heart, as you can see. And I've always used maternity leaves as a bit of a period to pivot and regroup. So um, I've not seen I've not seen my objective to keep things the same. I've seen my objective as to grow and evolve and change. And um, I had my kids quite young, so I had my first when I was twenty three, which was younger than most of my peer group. But I think it's worked for me because it's put me into a mindset of my career growing with my children rather than getting my career to a fixed point and then trying to sustain it across children. And the trap that I've seen with that is that um, you change, things change. A career that might have been fantastic for you before kids, it, it might just not work so well for you. And, you know, just things change. And it can feel like a failure. It, pe people, people can feel bad about change when actually that's the, the best thing. Like, like letting your career grow with as your personal needs change, as your family needs change, as your professional interests change. Keeping it fresh, reacting to the market because, um, uh, because portfolio careers are now more, more common. Um, so that was a piece of advice that I had, and I've taken it to heart. Uh, I think I think one of I think one quite hard thing about working as a mum, I think, is having a support network, because again, the hours in the day, you've you've had your hours mumming and you've had your hours working, and um, you know you've maybe spoken to your spouse, and you start to run out of hours in the day, to maintain your female friendships, at the same time as they're people who have your back, and. Um, and again, it's it's those things that help you with your resilience. So so not not the things that work for you on your best day, but the things that work for you on your on your worst day. And um, having a support network, having a, having a village, that that saying that they have that it takes a village to raise a child. Um, I think if you can find a village, if you can find people that you feel love your kids not as much as you do that do love your kids then it's not that you're leaving them it's that you're 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 giving them time with their village and um i mean it's a privilege if you can find that and it's actually quite hard to do because you know time life but but that 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 makes everything feel better and feel more more human so um I mean, it's 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 tough. I mean, I can't I can't I can't sugarcoat that it's tough. And I'm at the easiest part of this now because my youngest is seven and my oldest is eighteen. Um, but those nursery years, you know, the expense of it, the craziness of it, the the uh, like running out of the office at five p.m. because you know at six p.m. the nursery is closing. You pick up your kid; they're exhausted and overstimulated from the day, so they're kicking off, and you've you were hoping to see them and all you get is tantrums. I mean, I, I don't want to sugarcoat it. it, it it's tough. But um, just just giving yourself the space to grow into it and like a little bit of flexibility and support to give yourself the stamina, I think is I think is it.